Last time I said we're finishing the motor. I lied. We continue by installing the crank position sensor. Since this is a K24 block and a K20 head, we need to use the sensor off of a K24 to match the harness. This is held on by one bolt torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. Next, we install the VTEC solenoid valve. This unit will be controlling oil flow, so it's important to install new seals and mesh filters. The valve is held on by three bolts torqued to 7.2 foot-pounds. Now we install the VTC oil control valve. If you bought a new control valve, there should be an O-ring already on it. If not, make sure to replace this to avoid any leaks. This is held on by a specific bolt with a long shoulder and flange that is torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. There's one more filter on the other side of the cylinder head. Make sure to replace the mesh filter when installing. The filter is held on by two bolts torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. Next, we're installing the upper coolant housing. The one I bought came with the O-ring already installed. Be sure to check that you have one in place. This is held on by two bolts torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. Now we install the two cam position sensors. Each sensor has an O-ring and is held on by one bolt torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. I realized I had forgotten to install the outer bolts for the cam caps. These are torqued to 8.7 foot-pounds. Next, we're installing a motor mount off of a CRV. This is an important detail because most K-Swap kits are designed to use this mount and not the stock motor mount. This is held on by three bolts torqued to 33 foot-pounds. Now we install the crank pulley. The pulley needs to be torqued to 181 foot-pounds, but this can't be done with the motor on the stand. You'll end up just turning the crank. It's easier with a second person to keep it from spinning. How strong are you? Very. I needed someone strong and muscular to help me get the motor off the stand without an engine hoist, which is why I had Handsome Simon come help me out again. To remove the engine off the stand, we had a motorcycle jack and a furniture dolly. This was our process of figuring it out. Hold on. We have technology. I'll just, I'll grab it with my back. Is this like a so, terrible idea? Let's think about it. Do you want to do the prying and I do the holding? I also have a bad back right now, so... Well, you're, if your back's locked up, then you won't be able to drop it. Mm. No? I'm holding on to it. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, both hold it on. Right. That's right, I don't need to grab it. <laughs> Ready? Oh! Holy <laughs> shit! It's out! Okay, you let go? You let go? Yeah. You got it? Oh yeah, so we did good. Yeah, it's pretty balanced. Yeah, okay. Not gonna work. Nice. Uh, we can take the jack. We'll figure it out. We'll play. <laughs> So that wraps up most of the sensors on the motor. Next time we get it ready to be installed. But until then, thanks for watching and take care.